or drink um, or whatever. Um, I think it's uh, time to transition to your talk. Um, mm -hmm. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's start. All right. So uh, let's see now. All right. So uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so today I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, the Jetpack Compose Canvas and all the stuff around it. So basically, how you can draw stuff on Canvas uh, with Jetpack Compose. So uh, quick introduction. I'm Julian Selvi, senior Android engineer at Aircall, and uh, now Android GD. Uh, I'm um, I'm part of the Paris Android user group. Uh, like listening to music, drinking IPA beers, and you can find me on Twitter at Julien Service. So, uh, so today uh, I divided the, the talk in, uh, in three parts. Uh, first, we are going to see uh, what the canvas is and the first step into it. So, a bit of overview about the APIs and the uh, the the, the well-known uh, stuff you, you have to know about the canvas. Then I'll uh, dig into uh, the, the animation, or you can animate things that you draw on your uh, on your canvas. And then uh, we'll see uh, some uh, out, outside stuff uh, outside the canvas. So uh, use the knowledge we learn about the, the canvas API uh, that can be used to draw shapes for uh, composables. So uh, let's see the, the first steps with the canvas, a uh, bit of uh, introduction here. So uh, now, uh, just before started, uh, disclaimer. So uh, what you will learn during this, this session. So you learn the foundation of Jetpack Compose, uh, of the Jetpack Compose canvas, obviously. Um, you will have an overview of the, the DrawScope API, uh, which allows us to, to draw shapes on the canvas. Uh, you will have your first experience with uh, animations on the canvas. And then you'll learn how to build custom shapes for, for your compositors. And after, after that, uh, it's up to you. Uh, you can, like, this is some samples uh, I found on Twitter. Uh, like unleashing the the canvas capabilities, uh, so we can draw like so so many stuff with the canvas, or uh, be uh, like yeah unleash unleash yourself and even like implement the Tetris. So uh, it's possible with uh, with the canvas. So uh, it's up to you. You can make everything you want. <laughs> So um, why are you going for the canvas? So sometimes uh, there's some design limitation with the current composable. So we are you are to uh, like uh, build your your own design stuff uh, outside the, the real composable. Uh, so uh, this is a, this is an option uh, for like drawing custom shapes on composables. And also, if you have to build like very graphic experience, if you have to to go for charts of or uh, custom progress uh, progress for loading, uh, it might be a good option to to go for the canvas. And last but not least, the uh, like to have fun, uh, you can like unleash all your art skills with the canvas. So uh, it's a it's a good way to to go with the canvas. <clears throat> and so uh, what? Is possible uh, to to draw on the canvas before uh, compose? Uh, yes, was possible. Um, some of the function were not very explicit, but you, know, you have to to dig into the documentation. But uh, all the canvas capabilities. Uh, so before Jetpack compose, uh, it's available uh, now uh, within. With a, a nice interoperability with the native canvas and the compose canvas. So, uh, if you have built some uh, some stuff around the canvas before, you can like easily add it to to your uh, composables. Um, yeah, Jetpack Compose Canvas is a dedicated com uh, composable. So back then uh, with Android, so it it was an override of the the view uh, the view UA uh, UL toolkit. So yeah. 
So a uh, bit of introduction about the canvas. Uh, so uh, here are the things you like have to know before going into the, the real uh, canvas API. So back then, uh, when you wanted to, to access the canvas um, on any view uh, or component that it, um, inherit from view. So you will override the, the onDraw method in order to access the canvas. So that was about the, the, view, uh, the, the view API. And here with the canvas, uh, you will apply all the, the draw methods you want for drawing your, your shapes. And when you have access to the canvas, for example, uh, the white area is our view. Uh, so the, the white area defines our Canva. And the origin of the canvas uh, is located at the top left of the, of the, of the view, or uh, it's the same for the composable. So uh, the origin yeah, is located at the top left. And um, on the uh, in horizontal axis, this is uh, the X axis, and uh, it's going from uh, the left to the right. And the Y axis is going uh, from the top to the bottom. So uh, if you uh, think about that, about the, the like negative positive position uh, you want in the canvas. And uh, for dealing with the canvas, it's uh, like all in pixels. So be sure like to convert all your DP SP size uh, in pixels. And so let's see a bit of uh, canvas API here. Some of them are very useful. Uh, for example, you can uh, call some draw rect to draw rectangle and draw line to draw line between uh, a position A to a position B, uh, drawing a nodal, for example, drawing a circle. Uh, so it's all, you can do all basic shapes uh, and all these methods are available. Uh, you can also draw some bitmaps uh, or draw some uh, some text inside a canvas. Um, also, this is a nice API. Uh, you can draw a path. Uh, the path is for complex shapes. So you can define a very complex shapes with a lot of corners, uh, a lot of uh, edges. Um, I can put whatever you want with the, with the path API. And there is also the, the weave, uh, for example, translation, scale, rotation, uh, in order to apply some transformation to your uh, uh, shapes you build uh, you you drawn on the on the canvas. So, but the the main API uh, you have to remember uh, for drawing on the on the canvas. Um, the last one here, uh, it's nice to know uh, to know all the stuff, but this one uh, is quite useful uh, when uh, you you are doing uh, multiple shapes. Um, uh, so it's understanding how the blend mode uh, works. So you have the source and the destination, and you can make some combinations, uh, like to to have a part of the part of the drawing, or if you want to remove uh, so, uh, some part uh, that should be should be displayed. So very useful if you want to uh, to make some uh, some mask for for images and so on. And uh, I recommend uh, this article. Um, so it's a, it's a very nice article made by uh, Rebecca Franks about the, the Android Canvas. So uh, it settled all the all the foundations uh, you have to know uh, before going further. So uh, now we have a bit of an uh, overview of what was the Canvas uh, before Jetpack Compose. Now let's dig into, uh, into the Compose stuff. So uh, what about the Jetpack Compose Canvas? Uh, so uh, you will have the draw scope, uh, which will be available when uh, you, are, you are setting up the, the Jetpack uh, Canvas. So all the APIs uh, it provides are very similar to the native Canvas. So uh, you, you won't be lost uh, if you know, already know some stuff about the, the Jetpack Compose Canvas. So the, the, the APIs are very similar. 
Um, also, it provides a very nice API to, to animate your drawings, so to apply a lot of transformation in the canvas. Uh, as I said, uh, there is a nice interoperability with the native canvas. So within the Jetpack Compose, uh, Composable, you can access the native canvas, uh, so the, the Android uh, canvas, uh, to, to actually uh, like do a bit, bit more uh, with respect to the, to the Compose canvas. So uh, what the, the Compose, uh, Compose Canvas looks like. So uh, what are mandatory? So you will have your modifier here uh, for defining anything you want, the size, uh, the color, the, the background, anything you want uh, in the modifier. And uh, there is a lambda, the Andrew lambda, and here uh, you will draw anything you want. And uh, here, uh, if we turn the draw scope, and the draw scope will allow you to to draw all the shapes you want in your in your new composable. So, uh, for an introduction and uh, like an overview of uh, what you can do with the uh, with the draw method, let's see how we can like draw a smiley face. Uh, we'll understand how to use the draw method. And uh, this is like a simple, uh, simple uh, smiley face with a uh, with an arc for the uh, for the mouth, like a, a round round head and a two square for for the eyes. So uh, for the head, we start with uh, drawing a circle. So we call the method draw circle. And here, for example, if you you can provide a color uh, or you can provide a brush, a brush uh, will be used for like defining uh, some crazy gradient if you want, like uh, with multiple color or like do whatever you want with with your gradient here. So uh, it's very easy to 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 provide new colors. Uh, you'll set a radius, for example, and here, uh, what is interesting is we are accessing the size uh, of the composable directly in our component. Um, uh, in the, the view API, uh, when you are accessing the, uh, the, the, the canvas, maybe you will have to override the unmeasure, um, the unmeasure meter to, to know uh, the component has been resized and to apply to know the, the actual size of the components. So here, uh, the actual size of the components, it's always uh, available and through, uh, through the, the size attribute. And then you'll provide a uh, center, and then you will provide a stroke style, for example, uh, defining the the width of the uh, the, the width of the other stroke. That's very simple. Uh, and then we'll go for for a smile. Uh, so uh, here I I'll add a bit of padding, not to be like on the on the head, uh, like a percentage of the width. Uh, like to to be resizable, uh, if we apply a different size on the uh, on the on the composable. So here I can access the draw arc method. Uh, so defining all all we need to to draw the to draw the the smile, and then I do the same uh, for the um, for the eyes. I defining a rectangle that I draw. But well, I define two rectangles here: one for the left eye, one for the right eye. And um, uh, so, uh, to locate the um, the rectangle on the canvas, uh, it's always with the top left. Uh, so the top left is the origin. And uh, on Jetpack Compose, we are providing uh, uh, we are providing an offset. And offset is just a x y position, so uh, very simple. Uh, and also we can provide a size, uh, so uh, a width and a height for the rectangle. And uh, it's demo time. So uh, on Android Studio here, uh, so I've made a, it was a, the project I made for. The Jetpack Compose challenge, but the the time uh, the timer. 
So here I define the, the canvas uh, the, the canvas face. So here we go. Here uh, just define a modifier here. Uh, build our canvas. I draw the circle. I draw the arc. I draw the two uh, rectangle. So back here. So it's linked to my main screen. And if I compile the application, you can find here the the smile face uh, that just compiled on my uh, on my device. So uh, it can be also resized. So it's uh, two three hundred. You can we can make it like two hundred. Uh, compile again. Let's see. Should be there in a few seconds. Yes. Terminate. Yes. There, yeah. with two hundred, it's now smaller, and uh, we respect the the ratio we put with the size on the on the ratio here with the with the padding. And now let's go back to our slide. Uh, and now we can play uh, with the native canvas. As I say, there is a nice interoperability. So if I build some stuff before with the Android canvas, I can reuse them. So uh, I can access with a, with a nice uh, little nice method, the, the native canvas uh, within the draw scope. And so it's very pleasant here, uh, even if uh, you have defined uh, or like a big a complex path uh, with the uh, Android native uh, path, you can convert the uh, old path with the compose path uh, with an extension function, uh, which uh, is available uh, as compose path. And uh, you may ask why uh, why going for the native canvas? So uh, if you want a fast, easy migration of what you've done before, uh, you can go for it. Um, it, it will work like a charm. Uh, but if you want to go multi-platforms, uh, you, you have to go uh, full Jetpack Compose Canvas. Uh, and not all the methods uh, that are available on the Jetpack Compose Canvas are um, uh, on the native canvas are available in the Jetpack Compose Canvas. For example, uh, for now, you cannot like draw text with the Canvas API. So uh, under our draw method, uh, we can like call the here the draw into Canvas um, Lambda, which will uh, have a direct direct access to the Jetpack Compose Canvas, uh, and then. After defining some page method for, for our native canvas, uh, inside the canvas, we can access the native canvas, which is the, the Android canvas. And then like, here, you can call all the method, all, uh, for example, the draw text, draw bitmap uh, that are available on the native canvas in uh, Jetpack Compose. For example, here, we can like draw some text, like Android rocks and so on. Now, uh, we see we saw that uh, we can draw some stuff on the canvas. And now let's see how we can animate them. So uh, now, uh, let's see how the transformation APIs look like on the canvas. So the draw scope offer multiple lambdas to animate uh, the drawings, like front slate, rotate, scale. Uh, so you can do a lot of things with that. So there is a nice API to animate your drawings. And also, uh, you can use this method to animate what you've uh, natively drawn on your canvas with the native canvas. So uh, it's a nice interoperability. So let's, let's see how we can do it. Uh, so first, for example, we can define our animation. 
Uh, we'll use some animation state, uh, some time thread or infinite. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, for example, here we can uh, we will use the remember infinite transition uh, and the uh, animate flow test state um, in order to to provide the information to uh, to the canvas transformation. Um, uh, you can also animate your drawings uh, that could be uh, like triggered with some scroll behavior or some drag and drop stuff. Uh, for example, you can uh, like pass the, um, the value of the remember scroll state uh, if your canvas uh, is like behind or over um, a scroll state, uh, a scroll, uh, scroll view. Uh, so, for example, here, let's define an infinite uh, and repeatable animation. Uh, so, uh, this was is for like uh, a bit of a scale animation to go uh, to go back and forth. Uh, so, we define the initial value, the value we, we want to target, and then uh, we'll define the animation spec here. Uh, so, we want the animation repeatable. Uh, it's, uh, it's a twin animation with a uh, winner fast uh, fast out slowing easing and we want uh, the repeat mode to be weaver so to have the the back and forward uh, animation and we will also define some uh, uh, like animate animate state so we'll animate some color here so this uh, color state uh, API is uh, available on the foundation of a Jetpack Compose. And like to make some uh, tiny wave, uh, we'll use a, a float state. Um, now to use this, um, to implement this uh, transformation on our canvas. So on the draw lambda, You'll define another lambda for uh, example here, yeah, uh, translate, uh, and I want tr to translate the top of uh, of my drawing. Um, so I will here inject the, the the translate value, and also I can chain uh, transformation, so I can translate and scale at the at the, at the same time. Uh, so it's up to you, and uh, at the end of your lambdas, uh, you will have your, your drawings. So here, for example, uh, a simple translate uh, animation, and then uh, translate and the scale uh, combine animation. Um, so what it looks like now on Android Studio. Um, so it was about here. Back. So we have our time wave here uh, with lots of animation and stuff. Um, all right, so I define uh, a color animation. Uh, this is for the wave I will show you. Uh, same here, some of the, some of the um, transition here. So here I am drawing like uh, a wave on the top. Uh, which will go at the bottom uh, within 10 seconds. Uh, uh, so it looks like this. Uh, up. It's up, up. So uh, here, uh, so I have my tiny waves at the top. Uh, it's a repeatable animation, so uh, it looks like the wave uh, are moving. And then, uh, so it's made with uh, full canvas. I also like uh, paints here. Uh, as you can see here, I am accessing the 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 the, the canvas. Uh, the uh, Jetpack Compose canvas, and then here I'm accessing the native canvas to actually draw some uh, some text on the canvas. And uh, here we go. Uh, if I click on play, the animation uh, color is there, and then the scale uh, back and forth uh, start to trigger, and then it stabs up. So uh, you can do some very nice animation. It's very fluid, uh, no no lags at all, uh, especially with the uh, with the last uh, the last Jetpack Compose versions. So you can animate stuff. It's very 
very nice. And now let's see how you can like uh, bring the knowledge you, you learned uh, on the canvas outside actually the canvas. So uh, for example, you can here build uh, some custom shape. Uh, you can customize some composable with some shapes and elevation. So there's a nice thing here. Uh, you can provide a custom shape and uh, it will natively support and we, it will clip to the to the shape you provide uh, so you don't have to to deal at all with the elevation so it not it's natively support uh, so here we will use the the path api and uh, we also learn we will learn about uh, like uh, growing and accessing the the canvas of a current composable um, so uh, we can access the draw scope of a composable um, to do so, uh, we'll do the, the modifier for behind. So here, for example, uh, there is two shape already provided by uh, by the, the Jetpack Compose Foundation library. Uh, for example, if you want like to have rounded corner on your shape, uh, you can uh, pass on the background, uh, you can pass a shape, and this is a, a, like a corner shape with uh, 8 TP. Um, if I go to Android Studio here, you can see uh, tuk, 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 rounding corner here. If I locate the shape on the left here, uh, you have all the, the shape that are available on the, um, on the Android uh, Jetpack Compose uh, library. So uh, very the rounded corner shape, percentage corner size. Uh, you have the cut corner shape, uh, and so on. Very few, few already uh, shape uh, available on the uh, on the library. Uh, and now. Yep. Um, but let's see how we can build like uh, here a little component uh, with the um, with the shape uh, shape API. So here we're gonna build a custom shape for uh, any composable you want. Uh, we draw uh, the border uh, inside the component with the draw scope, and that uh, that the shape we will be drawing today. Um, so the shape will define um, all the like the shape of the components, and uh, for the red border inside, uh, we'll use the draw scope of the composable to 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 to, to do so. Uh, so here is our ticket, like movie ticket composable. Uh, so we'll have access here uh, to the graphic layer, so we can define the shape. An elevation, for example, like to have a nice uh, enough shadow, and also we'll have to make sure you have a clip set to true uh, in order to to add the, the elevation uh, that clip your your new shape. So we'll define the the ticket shape uh, with a like a, a corner in, inverse corner uh, of twenty four dp. And uh, on uh, to accept the the canvas of the composable, uh, we'll use the the draw BN modifier here. Um, here we can draw anything you want. Here we will draw a path uh, to define the red border. So uh, what the structure of the of the shape uh, API? So uh, you will define your own class, for example, ticket shape. And then you extend this class uh, with shape. Uh, you will have uh, one function to override its create pipeline. And then, if you uh, want like to implement the pass you want, uh, you just need to return a, a generic outline uh, which take a pass. And then uh, you will have to define the path you want to to build your new shape. So uh, this is the, the shape you want to draw. And we will be defining first the, the corner, because uh, this is the, an inverse of a rounded corner. Uh, and to do so, uh, we will use uh, some, a very nice API. Uh, 
So on the path API, there is an arc2 method. So to actually draw an arc uh, inside a rectangle. So we'll be defining here, as you can see, the, the four rectangle to, to do our arc. So when the, the rectangle are, de are defined, uh, then I'll, we'll, uh, we will uh, inject, uh, we'll put the, the start angle and the sweep angle to, to actually uh, throw the, the arc uh, in the path. So uh, once it's done, uh, you might also uh, define lines uh, to join the, um, the arc. And it's very simple uh, on the the pass uh, the pass APIs. There is a, a method to like uh, join the a point to another with a line two. So uh, where you your pass stop um, at the the step D four, uh, you just draw line to a certain position x y. Uh, so uh, you will define your. Um, your path in the right order. Uh, so going from the, the top left, um, then uh, cycling uh, um, uh, st uh, on the on the clocks uh, cl yeah, clockwise uh, to the uh, the origin, and then to draw the the red. We'll use the same path uh, to generate uh, the the actual shape of the of the border um, uh, to to have a nice border inside our composable. We just need to apply a, a scale transformation to to reach the size. So to do so, here we are applying the same uh, same path on the, on the draw behind uh, lambda. Um, we just applying uh, a scale of uh, like uh, we put the, uh, the same size, but like 90 percent of the of the actual size, and we define we just need to pass the the pass the ticket pass here uh, like uh, putting a new color and setting the the spread side for them. And uh, yeah, if you together, uh, let's see, we have uh, our new shape uh, that you can inject for many components. Uh, I'll show you live how it goes. Uh, so here, I'm going to comment some stuff. I don't need my wave here. Uh, So I'm commenting this. I will uh, use first uh, a pre and DB. I'm accessing the graphic layer and the order really matters here. Um, you have to apply the background color after defining uh, the, the shape and so on of the graphics layer. So it's always come after the graphics layer if you want to apply the background. So we in a dark color here, a ticket shape, uh, and then uh, I access the, um, the, the post up here with blue behind. So the composable and scaling uh, my new shape is which is the, the red border. And then inside this box, uh, I have a, a little text here to, to display. Um, yeah, it could depend on the uh, uh, this uh, this afternoon, I'll let the dog out. So uh, let's see uh, how it goes live. So let's build it. And okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, so here we have uh, our new shape. Uh, so it was at the beginning of the box. But now, as you can see, you can also spot the, um, the elevation with the shadow, uh, so it's uh, natively interpreted. Um, in doing this, so, uh, so many uh, many shapes for your composables. And for example, uh, this also can be applied to an image. Um, if I I did the same here, so just. Using a, a call image, so my am using an image from, uh, from the internet. 
uh, just need to crop it. And then on the modifier, accessing the character and uh, putting a new shape for my image. So I will put a new, like a new mask on my, on my components. And if I build the component again, So here it is. Here we are. Uh, so uh, you can we use the shape you you bit uh, on every computer you want. Uh, let's go back to slides. And we are almost done. Uh, I wrote a, a little nice article about the the back compose canvas. So uh, I cover the all the things that I covered during the talk, uh, we'll uh, we'll put another article uh, in the coming uh, coming days so that the 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 shape API how uh, we can build some custom shape. So uh, this is uh, the first part, and uh, the next one is coming soon. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for uh, for listening. And for the player to be to be here and speak about uh, the back post canvas. If you have any questions, feel free.